Well, today's the day. These came in. I said I ordered four, and I did order four. This is just one of them. The other three are sitting off to the side as I'm pulling the tape off of them. Um, these were bought off of eBay for about $2 American. Um, it also came with this uh, little thing in the package. Uh, a little, yeah help thing I guess anyway this is the box 10 watts light decay less than 1000 out 5% 1000 hour testing protection ready IP65 energy saving input voltage AC 95 to 260 volts hmm. 10 watts color LED is uh, this is going to be warm white I already know but this is what it ordered um No UV or infrared, high brightness, uh, cob uh, efficiency, 120 degrees. And this is a different design than what uh, BigClive.com had ordered. I specifically ordered this design because I'm actually going to use these on my home. And this color, I have a white house, and though I see they sent me a gray lamp, it's just fine. I have white spray paint for that. But the mounting conditions... For this I have to meet a, a specific requirement of mine and this is it the other one would have been too tall to get under the eve of my home so this one with this configuration is better for me um here we are 10 watts 3000 k in the color <laughs> so it means warm white i guess and it looks like i'm going to need some type of pliers or a wrench maybe what size is that? Eights? Huh. Well, maybe not. I could probably get away with this with just, uh, I found my interchangeable screwdriver just a few minutes ago. Hold on. Now, we're going to do the test on this one. Did they or did they not connect the, where's the beeper, earth ground? New meter already sounds like shit. Is the earth ground connected? Okay. It uh, sounds like it is. We're going to find out, though. The Chinese are notorious for uh, leaving those things out and surprising us later. So let's take these uh, screws loose here. I always do this with lamps anyway from China. Hell, even American made lamps, I check the earth ground before I'm going to mount them outside on my home because obviously, you know. I probably should take that bracket off. I've got to take it off anyway. Uh, I'm going to hook this up. I got my test cable somewhere around here and also have my switched bulb cable here. Uh, well, it looks actually looks like they did attach the earth ground in under a what looks like to be just a regular uh, uh, lug connection, and it's it's clamped down with this bolt with this nut for the strain relief. <clears throat> Pretty good length of cable here too. Um, there's the driver. The it just oh fuck is that even gonna come out? There's a lot of hot snot in here. My God. Wow, that is in there. That is in there. I don't really wanna. Get too violent with this but it looks like it's coming up without taking the label off so let's proceed with caution here I don't want to cut oh shit the label is sticking it's one of those plastic labels here it comes here it comes well, it doesn't really matter if it's there we go and 
Where's the watts? Input 85 to 265.5 amps, upper 27 to 42 volts DC. 230 milliamps, LED driver. So it is a 10 watt driver. Hmm. You know what? Let's stick it on this side. <laughs> Will it stay? Nope, probably. Let's stick this back down in there. Well, it is a 10 watt driver, so now comes the moment of truth. We power, put power on it. It does have the ground connected, though I'm not totally keen on that connection, but it is there. I'm not going to disturb it and take it all away in bits. I mean, just, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm just not doing that. And I'll hook it up here to some mains power. Now, keep in mind, I'm working off 120 volts. I'm not in the UK. I don't have 230, 40 volts, whatever. I'm working off 120, though I can produce uh, European voltages and frequencies here. I just don't feel that it's time to pull out that equipment for an, an LED lamp that's going to be hooked onto my home running at normal United States line voltage. Um, let's see, can I have my testing cables? Where are my testing cables? Here's one of them. This is one. One of them. Hmm. Okay. Hope this is not stuck so again. Oh wow, what in the hell am I hung up on? Hmm. It's set of some sort and my solder is there. Okay. I have a cat and she got in here and knocked stuff off the table. I still have that hooked to this wire. Anyway, I'm just not gonna do the earth on it because that needs to go back to that fluorescent. That uh, that thing. Okay, this red is line, which I guess in uh, European that translates to brown. Um, here, live is black, neutral is white, and uh, over there I guess brown and blue. Huh? The earth is green in the U.S. or green and yellow in this case electronics but all right let's find some power now this is now out of there either gonna smoke or not it's, it's popped in okay it works oh fuck that's bright Jesus God uh, definitely works and Good God, I can't see. Um, <laughs> I can see briefly when I turn it on that all the LED pattern in there seems to be lighting. I could dig out the Variac, but I don't want to overvolt it. Um, hmm. So I'll be right back. Well, when I can't find the proper gels and filters, I resort to a pair of sunglasses someone left, uh, one of those women left at my house. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to explain it any farther than that. So let me turn it on. Now I can see it, and I can see six LEDs in there in the cob, and they're all lit pretty equally. So, yeah. I don't know if that can even be seen in the camera or not. Damn. That is bright 10 watts. Hopefully you should come back and get these because that was interesting. Um, anyway. And I can even see them down in there. I mean, down inside I can see these. Now, I don't know if there's a point in taking this all the way apart because all that's in there is just that... Uh, just that LED, that, that, that cob. Um, it's that three, uh, you know. It's essentially, it's the same light that, that Clive took apart on his. It's just in a different casing. And then 
I specifically wanted this type of case instead of that other one for the reasons where I have to mount these. So, yeah, this is the other style of the Chinese. It's quality control. <laughs> quality control past, LED floodlight, 10 watts. And they do make these up to 200 watts, 150 watts, but they are very, very pricey um, when you start getting into those wattages. So, yeah.